What's going on everybody? 915 Mang here. Got the coals ready, hot and ready. Gonna do a nice cook today. A uh, barbecue cook with uh, some brisket, some ribs, and a little bit of chicken. I hope that all of you are doing okay as well as possible. I've seen some videos uh, of the hurricane and I know that quite a few of you are from the Houston area. Hope you guys are doing all right and uh, everything works out. More importantly, that your family is okay and everything else goes back to normal as soon as possible, guys. So let's go ahead and get into this update. It's gonna be a relatively long update. I do have quite a bit of things to show you, talk about, and uh, really appreciate you guys tuning in uh, so we can go ahead and talk some fish and coral. I do hope that you guys had a good time at Macna. Uh, you know what though, I, I kind of disappointed about uh, some of the Macna footage that I've seen. Uh, this is from the uh, big name YouTubers. I think uh, a lot of us would have enjoyed if you would have showed all the booths instead of just the uh, paid sponsors. But hey, that's just my opinion. I still enjoyed the footage anyways. But I really enjoyed was Tidal Gardens uh, video. At least he kept it real. Said, hey, this is a little bit of footage of Macna. And the rest, I went out and partied. So with that being said, eventually, hopefully, I'll make it to one of these Macnas. Maybe I can save up for that. And you know what? If I make it down there, I'll record everybody and uh, talk to everybody too. But that's just me, guys. So now that I got that off my chest, I am using the flipper. I do highly recommend that you get a flipper. Uh, it works great. You can see that I'm scraping off algae and uh, my tangs go at it and eat it all up. So it's kind of, you know, you know, I clean the glass and I feed my tangs with the flipper. Um, as far as the corals go, guys, I have been kind of busy. I finally uh, mounted this bubblegum digi and actually it broke. I think a snail got in, on it. Ended up breaking it, and so what I used is the reef welder, uh, put it on the rock, and put this in place so that way it doesn't move around. Also put around uh, my nice little favi on top, and uh, so hopefully it will grow out and uh, spread all over the rock. Here's some more uh, reef welder that I put on. I don't know the name of this uh, SPS, but I did get it from Reefer's Garage uh, back when I ordered, when it was a little bit, uh, a few months ago. Now, as far as the coral go, I have moved quite a bit of things. I have fragged a few things, uh, kind of like testers. Put it in the 40 gallon breeder under the uh, ATI T5 bulbs. And uh, you know what? Things are doing good in that tank. Uh, it's 40 gallons. It has, you know, a good size buffer, it being 40 gallons. But I do uh, plan on fixing it a little bit. The thing is that I, I don't really have a lot of room to work with because the light fixture sits right on top of the tank. So I do need a little bit of room so I can work in the tank because I'm not gonna lie, I have issues um, like bubble algae mainly, which is hitting the 40. Um, as far as the corals in this tank though, everything is looking good. I am back, I just did a water change the last Sunday, I did a 15 gallon water change. And then by the time this video comes out, I'm gonna do another uh, 15 gallon water change and I should be back on track as far as testing my alk and my calcium uh, I haven't been doing it at all. Uh, I do have the test kits sitting right underneath my my uh, tank But I just haven't done it. Um, I don't know if you guys get lazy like that um, Now talking about this leather you can see these zoas right here on the right. They're purple I only had one head of those left due to the Astorina starfish eating up quite a bit of some of my zoas when I had my little 24 gallon tank. But they're starting to grow back. That's why I put it on that little frag disc. And uh, once it starts growing out, then I'll move it over to my 40. Now the Mystic Monopora is doing really good. I have it growing on the overflow in case you haven't noticed. And uh, it's doing really good on that plug. My Red Planet, also doing really good and uh, you can see these little daisies I tried to give some of these to Tim a while ago before they exploded and you can see that they have grown I took a razor to them and pulled this rock out and try to chop them off as best as possible they are pretty cool soft corals I do like them because they're polyps but you got to maintain them and keep them in check 
If not, they're just going to grow all over the place. When I took that rock out, I ended up accidentally breaking uh, the frag disc off of this rock. And now I have a, a bunch of uh, Zoas that I need to go ahead and frag up, which are the uh, Rasta Zoas. I was thinking about breaking those off because they kind of change color and put them in the uh, light. But uh, I just haven't done it. Um, I also thought about cutting up some of this frog spawn. But to be honest with you, I really like how full it's getting. And I'm just going to leave it alone uh, for now. And you can see, if you look real close, the uh, thing of Rastas that I have right there, which have grown. And I'm just going to frag them up and just put them in that grow tank. Uh, I think they'll do really good under those T5s. Also thinking about moving this frag rack out and uh, put it under the uh, T5s. My little dendro right here is being shaded by the Hollywood Stunner Chalice. But you know what? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move it this time. Put it under some shelf rock so that way I can hopefully open it up more. Um, I haven't fed it since the last week. It looks okay, but I, I really want it to just open, be under the shade or whatever, so that way I can uh, check it out. It is kind of challenging uh, because if you don't have a, a lot of time, you got to pay a lot of attention to it. You know, at least I do until I get it thriving in my tank and get it going. I'm going to go ahead and back up and do a full tank shot so you can see how big the tank is. Uh, once again, this is a 186 foot long tank custom built stand, which uh, I still haven't covered up. I, I got to tell you the truth. I do like this open look of the stand and also... You know what? My equipment is not loud. I'm not getting loud gurgling or anything like that. It's, you know, it's the way a tank should be. You know, when you have a tank, it shouldn't be loud. Uh, you should just be able to enjoy it. And you know what? I don't have any background noise. Um, I do have maybe uh, I'm using a DC skimmer, DC pump. And uh, you know what? The, the power heads are quiet. And the uh, lights, they don't make a uh, loud noise with the fans either. So when I kick back and I watch the tank, I'm really just concentrating on the fish and the corals. And I think that's the way it should be, guys. Now, speaking of quiet, I was a little bit worried because I finally have my Algae Turf Scrubber by Santa Monica up. It's a surf uh, Algae Turf Scrubber, but you got to add an air pump. And back in my freshwater days, I remember these air pumps being super loud. And the one that I picked up was the Fusion. Uh, it's the biggest one that they had. And it has two outputs. And I have it set up to be for the maximum airflow right there. This thing is massive. I know, that's what she said. But uh, the thing is quiet. And that's what's really, really important. If it was super loud, then you know what? I would have to consider adding doors. And, you know, I still probably will add doors later on. I have the magnetic mounts all over the tank, as you can see. But the, the pump itself is pretty quiet. And uh, it was something that I was worried about because uh, it going to an algae turf scrubber. Now, I bought it from Amazon. It was only like 20 something dollars. And uh, I got to tell you, it didn't start up right away, which I was kind of pissed off about. Um, it was when I plugged it in, it was make a couple of bubbles. That was on the maximum setting. I had to take it apart and kind of play around with the diaphragm. And after doing that, then it started working right away. I probably should complain to them and tell them, hey, what the heck. But uh, I just hooked it up and started using it right away. So it is working right now. And uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, fail on me. So as far as the algae turf scrubber, one thing that I do like, it has minimal light spill. That uh, red LED right there is coming from the bottom of the surf uh, algae turf scrubber. And uh, I like it. Uh, I like it a lot better than having this uh, shop light on 24-7. Uh, the shop light does grow, uh, you know, macroalgae and all that good stuff. So I'm going to move that over to my little 40-gallon. But I'm going to keep the surf in this tank due to the fact that I have the biggest bio load in this tank. and uh, I want to see how how it takes off. Now the surfs they get they sell them by how many cubes a day you can feed your tank. Uh, me, I'm only doing one cube a day, so we'll see how it grows. But uh, I'm I think it'll do pretty good. Another thing, uh, my QP16s 
they're doing really good. I had to use some uh, long zip strips to go ahead and tie them up to the, the light pole that I have. And that way they uh, they don't fall off. They did come with like some sticky uh, tape. But you know what? Uh, those things kept falling off every time I set it up. My lights are the uh, Reef Breeder Photons version 2s. I have a 50 inch on here. And I have the 20 something inch uh, also from uh, reefbreeders.com. I think they're the best bang for your buck as far as LED lighting due to the fact that you're getting Cree lighting. Uh, you can control every single channel which when you when they say channel what it means is color. It's a fancy word for color. So with the green, the royal blues, the UVs, whatever channels, you can control those all the way down to 0 to 1 percent all the way to 100. And these have been doing really good on my tank. I've had them on my tank now for a year um, on the 120 and then carried over to the 180. The 180 has been up since January, so no issues there. Uh, that's why I got the second light because um, I jumped from the 120 to the 180. Now the uh, 40 gallon, this light is still doing really good. I've moved over a lot of corals. And as you can see, this reactor right here, I stuffed it with filter floss. Due to the fact that uh, the water was a little cloudy and it has cleared up some, a lot since uh, this video. You can see I marked off the 5, 10, 15 gallon marks and uh, for water changes just to make my life a little easier. I am going to clean up this cable, but uh, it's all a process, guys. I'm going to buy some of uh, those DJ switches, put it on the back, and go from there. Once I go ahead and raise this light, it's going to give me a lot of room to work with. Uh, mess around with the corals, mess around with the frags, organize it. Right now I've just been kind of like tossing things in there, seeing how they do and everything like I said is doing really good. Um, it's not going to hurt uh, my corals by losing power or anything like that. They're still going to do well even with the light raised up. Now as far as the skimmer, uh, this Aquamax skimmer, it's a hang on back skimmer and as you can see it's doing really good. It's pulling out Quite a bit of junk. Um, I'm still dosing vinegar, a uh, little bit of vinegar manually because I don't have a doser pump on there. But it, as you can see, that skin mate is dark. Um, it does stink, and uh, that's the way I like my skin mate. Uh, it is kind of a dry skin mate uh, because it's so dark. If it was a wet skin mate, it'd be like more see through. Um, you can see I put a big old colony of purple stylo in here. I have uh, bubble algae on my frags because I need to get up, get up in there and uh, peel them off. And then also uh, I have Aptasia. In this tank, I think I'll go ahead and get some uh, pepper, peppermint shrimps and then uh, go ahead and pick up maybe some chromis or something like that just so I can have some life. I also want to add some matrix to this tank. I think this tank is good to go already. But uh, you know what? The key first thing that I'm going to do is just raise the light and go from there, guys. I do want to get some more frag racks, of course, kind of organize this uh, tank. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. I kind of put all my frag racks on this left side of the tank. But I'll probably get some nicer ones. Uh, I'm thinking from uh, Blue Tide Acrylics. Probably hit him up and uh, Jake and ask him uh, to make me some custom frag racks. Maybe some 915 Mang on there. Something like that. I don't know. We'll see from there. I did change out my output to my skimmer. Uh, I put it. I had to put a pipe on there because of the bubbles were uh, coming out of it, were splashing all over the place, making lots of salt creep. A simple elbow with some PVC pipe in it has uh, fixed that problem for me. But as you can see, the tank is uh, disorganized. It's kind of a organized chaos. But you know what? Once I get the frag racks it'll look a lot better go ahead and get some of these 20 inch tongs i got these from amazon they work great um i use them all the time to grab frags and things like that since i started that algae turf scrubber in the 180 what i did is i moved over that big ball of chato over and uh, put it in this little 10 gallon sump that i made um and it's i'm gonna go ahead and probably stick that coral box led that i had for a 20 gallon or either that or a shop light and go ahead and, and uh, set that light up for this chato. 
I, I'm thinking that Coral Box because it has a timer built into it. So I don't need any extra um, timers and plugs, things like that. Now, so the 40 is doing really good. Going to be uh, having some frags, lots of frags later on. And then uh, I'll get with my boy Eric, who wanted to go ahead and get some of those from me. If you're interested, maybe later on you can drop me a comment and uh, we'll work it out. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit those notifications. Uh, I appreciate all you guys watching and liking, sharing, subscribing, and uh, leaving your feedback. Go ahead and drop some comments down below. Let me know what's up. I hope you guys are doing really good. And uh, once again, thank you guys. I'm going to show you a little video clip of my uh, son's band. It's a little warm-up, and we'll go from there. See you on the next video, guys. Take care. to do but it's it's um, we're at a good we're in a good position right now 